This unit is Add Business Logic on the Build a Suggestion Box app on the Adam Intermediate Trail. Um, you are, my name is Jeff Alhadith. You're more than welcome to join me as I work my way through this unit on Trailhead on my journey to hopefully becoming a Salesforce admin. I want to earn that credential. Um, if I come across something that I found useful, um, I will link to it in the description um, down below, and you could just jump there and I gotta warn you though that so far in this module, I really haven't come across um, anything that I felt like, wow, this wasn't so clear to me, or I needed to figure it out a little bit. So I'm probably not gonna be much use for you in this one. Um, but that's okay. I like making these videos for myself. They help me um, make sure I'm paying attention when I'm learning and uh, actually end up learning the content. Okay, but with that preamble out of the way, if you want to join me, uh, here's what we're going to do in this unit. We will create a custom formula to calculate the length of time between two dates. Custom formulas tend to throw me for a loop, so I'm a little bit nervous about that. Add, validation, add a validation rule to enforce that the implemented date is not in the future. Oh, so when you say date implemented, that's past tense. I work as a writer, I think I should know that. Create a process to update a field when the value of another field changes. So if this, then then that. Try the app in the browser or Salesforce mobile app. And this has been one of the, the what you'll do's. And these, this module really hasn't had like um, much in the way of like learning objectives. Normally, like you will learn how to, and so it's like this is what you're going to do. And um, this one, creating, figuring out how to look at it in your browser and replicate the mobile experience is pretty cool. Um, okay, so far your app lets employees securely enter and view data about suggestions on a browser or a mobile device. That's pretty cool, but let's make the platform work a little harder for us so that our users don't have to. Step one. And I do like how they did this. See, step one, nine steps, go on from there. A formula field derives its value from other fields. Expressions are values, saving your users a lot of time. It derives its value. Do I agree with that? Let's add a formula field to calculate the number of days from a suggestion creation to implementation. Okay. It calculates, okay, I guess it derives its value is a fair way of saying it. It calculates other fields. Okay, I click the setup icon and click setup and click the object manager tab next to home. Next instructions, object manager next to home. From the list of objects, select suggestion, select the fields and relationships from the left nav, and click new. And for our data type, we're probably gonna click formula and click next. Enter the field details, then click next. Okay. Field label is number of days open. Field name, number of days open. But yeah, did that automatically. And the formula return type is going to be number. And how many decimal places do we want? Zero. We don't want partial days, I guess. That gets a little wonky. Click the advanced formula tab. And the, oh, thank you so much for giving me the formula. I love you, writer, whoever you are. You made me so happy. 
In the formula editor, type the following formula. <clears throat> copy and paste the following formula. Um, okay, gotta just copy and paste it right, actually grab everything. Okay, but I'm gonna read it. If is blank implemented date, today date value, create date, implement date, minus date value. Gonna click next. Advanced formula. Okay, so if So I is blank, remind me, there should be a logic one. Checks whether an expression is blank and returns true or false. Up on this function. I want to remember is blank, and I should know is blank. I, I do spreadsheets. Okay. Determines if an expression has a value and returns true if it does not. If it contains a value, this function returns false. Okay, so let's see here. If, okay, so the if formula, okay, so is blank just checks if it's, if, right, the if formula gives you the true one first. Yeah, that was a little bit not helpful. the first one. Okay, determines if expression is true or false, returns a given value of true. Okay, here it is. This is I'm looking for. Use. If logical test, value of true, value of false. Okay, so, if logical test value is true, value is false. So let's read this carefully. So if is blank, if the implemented date is blank, then take today and minus the date value on the create a date. And then that will give us the value. Okay, and that's the create a date. That's the, the day that the case was created. So if, okay, so value of, <laughs> I have such a hard time with these. If is blank is today, Okay, so if, this is our logical test. And this is, so if the implemented case is blank, if the implemented date is blank, that means it hasn't been implemented. So if that's true, Uh, 
I got confused. Number of days open. Okay, so if it has not been created, then take today and the date value from when it was created. And then that will tell us the number of days it's been open. If it has been implemented, in other words, is blank implemented date is false, then take the implemented days, implemented date, and then the date and then the created date and subtract those, and that will tell us how long it was open for. So what we're trying to figure out in this formula is two things. If this feature has not been created, then what we want to do is we want to say um, how many days has this case been open for? If the feature has been created, we want to know how long it took from the time that the case was created or the feature was suggested, suggested until the feature was added. And that's what this formula does. So we're saying if, and then here's our logical test, if the implemented date is blank, which means it hasn't been implemented yet, then what we're going to do is we're going to take today's date and we're going to minus the value of the create date for the suggestion. And that will tell us how long this suggestion has been sitting there open waiting to get resolved. If the implemented date is not blank, which means that it, um, it has been created, then we're going to take the implemented date and we're going to minus it from the date that the suggestion was first made, which is the case, uh, the created date for the date value on that field. That's all we're doing. And it took me forever to figure that out. If we check the syntax, that should work. Okay. So hopefully that little explanation helped. Moving on, continuing from where I left off. Um, click next and next again to accept the default field visibility and security settings, and then click save to save the number of days open field and add it to the suggestion layout. Next. Next. And we're adding the suggestion layout. And we're going to click save. Okay. Quite a bit later. It's dark out now, but here we are. Step two, add a validation rule. Formulas are also used to ensure data quality and enforce business rules. Our employees cannot predict the future. So let's create a validation rule to make sure they don't enter implementation dates that haven't happened yet. With validation rules, you define the condition for bad data. When the system evaluates the rule, it blocks the user from saving the data if the condition is true. Okay. So if if the form if the validation is going to be true, that means that, that we're looking for bad data. Then we got bad data. Click on the object manager suggestions, select validation rules. I'm in the suggestion object. Cool. I don't think I've ever done one of these yet. Enter the rule details. Click new. Okay. Day and range. Okay, so this is pretty straightforward. If the implemented date is greater than, meaning sometime in the future of today, then that's uh, true. No errors found in the syntax. Error message, the implementation must be today or in the past, not in the future. That's a nice error message. I'd be tempted to do something a little bit more sassy, but not actually if I was really doing it and wanted to keep my job. Yeah, but in, it's fun to have fun and trail playgrounds. 
field ent enter location, field implemented date. And the field, and implemented date field. Okay. Click save. Click save. Yeah. Click save. Cool. Add a field update. Step three, add a field update using Process Builder. Formulas are also useful when automating business processes. Let's make it easy on the person who has to act on all the suggestions by saving them some time. When user adds an implemented date, an implemented date, let's update the status automatically to implemented. Okay. From setup, enter process builder in the quick find and select process builder. I have never done one of these. On the welcome page, click new. Wow. Fun. Process name, update status. API name does that automatically for you. Description, update status to implemented when implemented date is, field is populated. The process starts when a record changes. Click the save button. Okay. Click add object. Associate the process with suggestion object and specify when to start the process. For this process, select when a record is created or edited. Okay, so we're going to do the suggestion. When a record is created or edited. Okay, and then we're going to click save, and then we're going to add a criteria. You may not see the save button because my screen recording doesn't go all the way down. And then we're going to add criteria, and the criteria name is implemented. And we're going to select when formula evaluates to true. And check whether the implemented date field is populated by typing the following formula editor. Okay, not is blank suggested. Okay, let's try to read this out loud so it makes sense to me in English. So if it is, if it is not blank, This is a double negative, but basically it's saying if suggestion, if this object's implemented date field is not blank, that's true. Then that's the, that's our criteria for running this. Okay. We're going to click save. Again, save might be not showing up on the recording. Um, and then click save, click add action. And then the action we're going to add is 
update records and the action name is going to be update status to implemented and the record type you're going to click the magnifying glass and the radio button select suggestion Select the suggestion custom record that started your process. Click choose. And then we're going to have this one here, no criteria, just update the records. So the new field value, field status, pick list, and the value is going to be implemented. Oh, and we're using that pick list value. <clears throat> so cool. That we created earlier. Click save. In the upper right hand corner, click activate and confirm. So I'm clicking save here, which you might not be seeing again. And activate and confirm. Rockin'. Try out the app. Your business logic fires when a record is created or updated from the browser or a mobile app. Go back to your suggestion record under the suggestion tab. Navigate app launcher and select suggestion box app and enter a date in the implemented date field. Try date in the future. You got it. That's pretty darn cool. That worked. That's cool. And then it updated here, number of days open automatically. That's so darn cool. Cool. Thanks for watching.